let us pray. Sweet hour of prayer, sweet hour of prayer that calls us from a world of care and bids us at our Creator's throne make all our wants and wishes known. Gracious, merciful, and eternal God, we come humbly before you this morning, thanking you for every good and perfect gift you have given to us, thanking you for our very lives. Creator God, on this first Sunday of Women's History Month, we remember that you created all humankind in your image. Help us to see and love your divinity in all with whom we interact and in all with whom we are called to serve. Help us to remember the women, named and unnamed, you called to serve and to lead. Sarah, Hagar, Ruth, Naomi, Esther, Mary, Elizabeth, Mary Magdalene, and the other Mary, the woman who washed Jesus' feet with her tears and anointed them with oil. We remember our foremothers, Jerina Lee, Sojourner Truth. We remember and pray for disciples, women leaders, especially our general minister and president, Sharon Watkins. On this fourth Sunday of Lent, we thank you for sending us the Prince of Peace, your son Jesus, and ask that you order our steps so that we may fulfill our call to be like Jesus, so that we may be ambassadors of peace in this broken world, ambassadors of peace in our broken families, ambassadors of peace in our broken communities, and ambassadors of peace in our very own lives. We pray for safe journeys and welcoming tables for all who are fleeing oppression of whatever type throughout the world. God, our healer, we pray for Anita Lorraine Parker, her brother, Reverend Louis Alfredo. And we pray for the wife of Reverend Evelyn De Jesus. We pray for the wife of Reverend Al Luis Alfredo, Reverend Evelyn De Jesus. And we pray for the friend of Sigrid, Beverly, for her healing. Lord, we pray for the leaders of our nation, of our state, and of our local government and governmental agencies. We pray that you bless them with courage to use their gifts to benefit all. We pray that you open the ears and eyes of their hearts so that they make compassionate decisions that will honor, respect, and uplift all of your people, even the least of these, the poor, the hungry, the homeless, the sick, and the incarcerated. Similarly, Lord, we pray for the voters that they will operate not in fear, but they will exercise their rights in a spirit of love and with a sound mind. For Lord, we know that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, and against the rulers of the darkness of this age. Lord, we recognize our own imperfections, and we ask that you give us a clean heart. We recognize your unfailing love for us and limitless forgiveness of our shortcomings. Help us to be similarly forgiving and help us bring justice to this nation and to this world as we seek to harness the power of being a transformative community. These things we ask in the name of your Son, Jesus the Christ, world without end. Amen. 